Detroit's famous Livernois Avenue between Six Mile and Eight Mile Roads has a long history of being one of the most desirable neighborhood shopping districts. Although most of the original retailers have gone, it is now one of the nation's most successful enclaves for Black-owned businesses. In addition to clothing stores, restaurants, bars, coffee shops, and bakeries, there are six fabulous art galleries and frame shops. Sherwood Forest Art Gallery has been on the avenue for 14 years. Its collection includes internationally known artists, as well as some of the best local artists. Browsing through here is an exciting experience. Clients include many of Detroit's most avid art collectors. Fellet Gallery opened 15 years ago. This is its second location. Not only is there beautiful art for sale, Fellet himself is an artist. He creates backdrops for producer Tyler Perry, and he has painted beautiful murals all around the city of Detroit. You can also host paint parties and take art lessons at Fellet Gallery. It is a gem on Detroit's Avenue of Fashion. Joe's Gallery is a second-generation Black-owned business. The spacious gallery is filled with eye-popping art, including many styles, abstracts, political art, pop art, inspirational art, African-inspired art, and a variety of authentic African art and handmade jewelry. The owner is Garnet Archer. Hi, my name is Garnet Archer, second generation owner of Joe's Gallery right here on the Livernois Avenue of Fashion, and we have been here for 20 years. We sell anything from custom framing services, art as being originals, limited editions, and even prints. We have handmade jewelry from two artists here locally from Detroit, Hearts and Gemstones, Misha Farrington, and also Miss Lynette Gibson. She's been with us for almost six years. If you have space at home and you want to refresh it during COVID, you're looking at all these bare walls and there's really nothing engaging, stop by Joe's Gallery or visit us at joesgalleryonline.com. We have a wonderful assortment of limited editions, prints, even originals. Stop by and visit us. You need those frames? We can handle that too. We look forward to servicing you. Another interesting gallery on Livernois is Art in Motion. It's actually a pottery studio that holds classes and events for people who just want to learn a new craft. The owner is Kay Willingham. She loves what she does, and she's always eager to teach others. Good morning. My name is Kay Willingham, and I'm the owner-proprietor of Art in Motion, a ceramic studio and gallery located here on the Avenue of Fashion. 19452 Liver Noise. And I thank you for welcoming us this morning. We do classes, we do parties, we do workshops, getting ready to celebrate our seventh anniversary here on the Avenue of Fashion with the Detroit Design Festival. Inside Art in Motion is another retailer, Love Travel Imports. Everything here is from exotic places around the globe. Owner Yvette Jenkins loves making new friends with her customers. Yvette Jenkins, Love Travels Imports. We curate, produce, and retail handmade, ethically made artisan wares, women's accessories, home decor, and gift items. And since this pandemic, we had to pivot. And so instead of doing some of these beautiful things here, now we have the hand-painted face mask and headband such as I'm wearing, along with lavender to help you relax. So, you know, we're doing the best that we can in these circumstances. When we think of art, it's not just paintings, drawings, or pottery. Fiber art is an intricate form of art that requires patience and meticulous handwork. A coma studio, formerly Detroit Fiber Works. A coma comes from Ghana, and its literal meaning is the heart, representing love, unity, and endurance. The studio is owned by Mandisa Smith. My name is Mandisa Smith, and I am the owner and founder of Acoma. That's A-K-O-M-A. -A. Acoma was formerly Detroit Fiber Works, which was founded back in 2013. And now we are evolving into a cooperative for women artists. And so we have things here by different women. Some are painters, some make beautiful clothing. My specialty is felting and eco-printing and eco-dyeing. So with felting, what I'm doing is I'm taking little wisps of wool and I'm transforming them into something beautiful, like the piece behind me. I also do wearable art that's felted. And with eco-printing, what I'm doing is I'm taking plant material, like onion skins and leaves, 
and using those things to, to infuse color into fabric. The art galleries on Detroit's Avenue of Fashion are second to none. The owners hope to see you soon. Shop, dine, explore, and walk the new Livernoise Avenue. <laughs>